For general service of the hydrocell pump, you will normally only be involved with the fluid end of the pump, that is the manifold, valve plate, valve assemblies, and diaphragms. Only on rare occasions will you need to disassemble the hydraulic end of the pump. Refer to the service manual and website for additional information. We will see how to remove the manifold. With a 3 8 inch or 10 mm hex allen wrench, remove the center bolt and its washer in the center of the manifold. Remove all the bolts that are around the perimeter of the manifold. Do not remove the four bolts that are installed through the back of the pump housing. Please note, do not turn the pump drive shaft while the manifold and valve plate are off the pump, except when removing diaphragms or repriming the hydraulic cells. Remove the manifold. Pumps with non-metallic manifolds will also have a support plate which should be removed. Inspect the manifold for warping or wear around the inlet and outlet ports. If wear is excessive, replace the manifold. To check if the manifold is warped, remove the O-rings and place a straight edge across it. A warped manifold should be replaced. To remove the valve plate, remove the three socket head cap screws with a 3 16 inch or 5 mm hex allen wrench. Inspect the valve plate in the same manner as the manifold. Please note, Plastic valve plates and manifolds should also be inspected for cracks and replaced if necessary. Lay the valve plate on a flat surface with the valve assemblies facing up. The three inlet and three outlet valve assemblies in the pump are identical but face in opposite directions. Remove the valve seats. A seat remover is included in the Warner toolkit. Insert the valve seat removal tool through the valve seat. Carefully, press down on the handle and pull the seat straight out of the valve port. Slide this valve seat up the valve seat removal tool and remove the next valve seat. When all the valve seats are removed and on the valve seat removal tool, unscrew the plunger from the handle assembly and slide the valve seats off the valve seat removal tool. Remove the other valve assembly components. On cast iron valve plates, be careful not to break the metal ridge around the o-ring groove. Inspect the valve seat for wear and replace it if necessary. Install a new o-ring. To inspect the valve assemblies, first check the spring retainer and replace if worn. Check the valve spring. If it is shorter than a new spring, replace it. Don't just stretch the old spring. Check the valve poppet. If worn excessively, replace it. Inspect the valve seat. If it is excessively worn, replace it. Also, check the O-ring around the valve seat. Replace it if necessary. Note that the valve seat has a chamfer on one side. The poppet style valve sits on this side of the valve seat. Please note, if your pump has plastic spring retainers, there is a tetra seal or a flat O-ring between the retainer and the valve seat. Replace it if necessary. Many HG25 pumps have a dampening washer on the valve seat in the bottom of the valve port or between the valve seat and the manifold. If your pump has dampening washers, inspect them and make sure that they are reinstalled in your pump. Please refer to the Hydrocell Service and Installation Manual or the website www www.hydra-cell.com to see the proper arrangement of the valve assemblies. Reinstall the valve assemblies as follows. Clean the valve ports and shoulders with emery cloth and lubricate the valve ports with lubricating gel or petroleum jelly. Install the O-ring on the valve seat.
Some pumps use dampening washers between the valve seat and the manifold or valve plate. Reinstall the dampening washers if your pump is fitted with them. For the inlet, insert the spring retainer into the valve plate. Insert the tetra seal, or the flat O-ring, on the spring retainer. Note, these flat O-rings are only used with plastic spring retainers. Then insert the spring, valve, and valve seat. Remember that the valve poppet sits on the chamfer side of the valve seat. For the outlet, insert the dampening washer, if they were on the original pump, the valve seat, valve, and spring. the flat O-ring if the retainers are plastic, then the retainer. If the pump has metal spring retainers in the outlet valves, position them so a leg does not point toward the center of the pump.